Well, here we are in the beautiful community of Inspirata, located in the southern region of Las Vegas. We are going to walk through four modern two-story townhomes, starting with Plan 2 at 1822 square feet, Plan 2X, 1758 square feet, Plan 1, 1640 square feet, and Plan 3, 1924 square feet. Our first townhome, Plan 2, is priced from 415000 it's 1822 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, two bay garage, and two stories. Corner windows and an offset footprint add pleasing definition to a great room concept that optimizes furnishing space, views, light, and rear yard connectivity. Plenty of storage, coat closet, powder room, and direct access from the garage promote functional ease. As we make our way inside through the nine foot door, we are greeted by the openness of these ceilings that go all the way up to the second floor. So it makes it very breathable and very nice, comfortable entryway. As we take a couple steps, we have the stairway to the left, coat rack to the left, and we enter the living room, which is about 13 by 17 and a half. Back in the corner, got the dining room, which is about 10 by 11 and the kitchen, which is a little over 10 by 10. Back in the corner to the left of the sliding glass door, you do have an option to add cabinets. You can probably fit a six person round table here, perhaps with a lazy Susan. Here we can take a little peek at the backyard. This backyard faces the Las Vegas Boulevard, the strip. So when we go to the second floor, you'll be able to see that. It's pretty, pretty views up there. Here we have the white sand quartz countertops with a pendant lighting right above. There's five different types of quartz countertops you can choose and one granite. We've got the pantry. Stainless steel appliances. And then we have the garage, which is the two bay garage and the powder room right next to it. I just want to quickly plug in. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe. It helps me take the time to make these just for you on your home hunting journey. These particular cabinets are Maple Java. You can get them in Maple Slate, Dove Gray, Satomi Thermofoil, Dove Gray Paint, and White Thermofoil. Just as a side note, there are three different elevations to all four of these units. All of them have a modern appeal. Right as you enter, you have a room for a gorgeous chandelier if you wanted. That one's pretty cool. First bedroom we come across is the primary suite, which is a little over 13 and a half by 13 and a half. And the views here are pretty awesome. Uh, you can see the community pool right below and the back of this house faces the north. So you can barely see Las Vegas Boulevard and the casinos. I'm sure at night it just looks amazing. And here we have the primary bath. You can add a door as an optional upgrade. We got the shower and a pretty decent sized walk in closet. Here we have the laundry room where you can add upper cabinets and five stacked shelves as an optional upgrade along with the washer and dryer.
the second bathroom. Uh, you can add a second sink as an option. Your place to think and your shower tub combo. Bedroom two, bedroom three. Got a little linen closet right next to bedroom three. Uh, bedroom three has a walk-in closet. It is a about 10 by 15 in size. And bedroom two has no walk-in closet and is about 10 by 12. Got the bigger size windows though. That helps for the natural light. Got the regular sliding door closet. And that is a wrap for plan two. Again, this model is priced from 415,000. It is 1822 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two garages, and of course, two story. And we're gonna make our way over to plan two X. In the same neighborhood as these townhomes, uh, TriPoint is also selling these single family right across the street. Uh, starting from 524,000, uh, I think it's about 2,000 square feet. They get bigger from there. Okay, so on to plan 2X. It's going to price from about 400,000, so it's about 15,000 less in price. It is 64 square feet smaller, which is a 1758. It's got three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, and of course, two stories. So yeah, plan two and plan two X are pretty much similar. Uh, the only thing you're losing is in bedroom three for plan two, they had the walk-in closet in bedroom three. Uh, this one for bedroom three does not have the walk-in closet. So that's the only space that you're uh, sacrificing for $15,000. Um, is that worth it to you? Would you rather have the walk-in closet in bedroom three? But uh, we're just gonna walk through this unit anyway just so you can see what that's like they doctor this one up a little bit differently with the flooring and the white cabinets got the black quartz countertops which i think is beautiful you can add cabinets right in this dining area as a optional upgrade get a peek at the backyard enough to put a barbecue pit grill some carne asada, <laughs> burgers, vegetables. These countertops look beautiful with the white cabinets. Let me know what you think. Here we have the pantry. Also, let me know what you think of these fixtures. I think it's a rose gold on these white cabinets. I think it has a really cool look. Again, with the powder room, right as you enter through the garage.
and uh, here we have the primary bathroom and this one has the tub the other one just had the shower this one has the shower tub combo dual sinks and it faces the north got the thinking room After we are done with this unit, we have two more to walk through. Uh, the next one's gonna be plan one, which is the smaller of the four units. And the last one is gonna be plan three, which is the larger of the four units. And again with bedroom two, which is about 10 by 12. No walk-in closet. And as I mentioned earlier, this model is 64 square feet smaller than the regular plan two. This is plan two X. So in this bedroom, you lose the walk-in closet. And that's it for Plan 2X. Again, this model is priced from 400,000. It is 1758 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two bay garage, and of course, two stories. All right, let's make our way over to plan one. And as I mentioned earlier, it is the smaller of the four units priced from 384,000. It is 1640 square feet. You can do two or three bedroom. Uh, you have an optional loft that you can convert into a third bedroom, two bay garage, and of course, two stories. Uh, this unit would actually be perfect if you just needed two bedroom with two full baths inside of them. And then just maybe share the loft for a workspace. This is where you'd be entering the house from the garage. And at the end of this hall, we have the powder room and what I like to call the Harry Potter room. And here we have the dining area, which is about a nine by 12, living quarters, which is 11 by 13, and the kitchen, which is a little over 12 by eight. You can see the layout, the floor plan is a little bit different than plan two and plan two X. You know, with this being the smallest model, I personally wouldn't mind losing just about 160 square feet from plan two and uh, paying over $30,000 less. It's actually a pretty nice unit.
And as soon as we make our way to the top of the steps, we can either go left to the loft or right to the primary bedroom. I'm going to choose to go right. And here we have the laundry room, which you can add five stacked shelves as an optional upgrade. This primary suite is about 13 by 14, a little bit over. And across the way we have the loft, which is 10 by 15. You can turn this loft into a third bedroom. And then we have bedroom two, which is a little over 11 by 14. One of my favorite things about this smallest model is this walk through closet. You can kind of walk through it from one door to the next, or actually you can walk through it. And that's pretty much a wrap for plan one again this is the smaller one it is priced from three hundred eighty four thousand it is sixteen forty square feet do two or three bedroom two and a half bath two car garage and two stories all right last but certainly not least is plan three priced from four hundred and twenty four thousand it is 1924 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two bay garage, and of course, two stories. Side entry enhances arrival identity and separation from garage, where a second entry serves owners. Light and views bring animation and visual expansion to this great room design, which features outdoor access from dining and an island kitchen for casual seating. Pantry, coat closet, and powder room enhance practical convenience. We have the living room over 13 by 13, dining room over 12 by 20, and the kitchen over 12 by 13. Yeah, here we have the powder room or a place to think two bay garage and a oh, closet for coats. Some of the features that are included in all of these units are the paver driveways and walkways in designer select color to complement exterior elevations. Eight inch tall Thermatrue composite entry door. I said nine foot earlier, I'm sorry. GE appliance package, including range microwave hood, as well as a dishwasher and stainless steel finish. Granite slab countertop with one and a half inch eased edge. Stainless steel dual compartment under mounted sink. Delta chrome pullout faucet and 42 inch cabinets with upper cabinets. Not to mention the 17 by 17 ceramic tile flooring in a variety of colors in entry, kitchen and all baths and laundry. Plush carpeting over pad in choice of designer select colors varies per plan. All bathrooms include raised height vanities, 
quartz countertops and the list goes on. As we make our way to the top of the steps, immediately to the left we have the loft. It's one thing I didn't like about this model. It shares a wall with the primary suite. Back to that in a second. Uh, on the, to the right we have bedroom two and bedroom three, as well as the laundry room. And the cabinets right there are an optional upgrade. Bedroom three is a little bit over 10 by 12. No walk-in closet. And here we have bathroom number two with the dual sinks, the shower tub combo. Got a linen closet. Walk-in closet. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is where the kids would hang out and play their games, probably get loud, um, depending on what you got going on up here. But it does share a wall with the primary suite. And uh, yeah, that's something that I just wasn't a fan of. Primary bedroom is over 13 by 13 in size. You do have an option to separate the bath from the bedroom by adding a door. That is a optional upgrade. What's cool about this primary bath is the two separate walk-in closets. Here's one. And here's two. Again, these particular units, the back faces north, so you have the Las Vegas Strip right out there, which I'm sure at nighttime it looks gorgeous. I do like all the windows and light on this loft. In case you're a photographer, you ain't got to do much, just take pictures during the day. <laughs> and just this linen closet right by the primary. And that pretty much wraps up our tour. Again, this is plan three. Price from 424000 Again, it is 1924 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage and of course two stories if you've never heard of Inspirata and you're thinking about moving out to Las Vegas Henderson Summerlin I advise you to come take a drive out this way it is definitely one of my favorite communities in the valley that's where everybody's going for a jog walking their dogs there are plenty of parks and playgrounds, picnic areas, sports courts, and uh, open green spaces. I would say it's definitely a family-oriented community. It's quite gorgeous up here, so do yourself a favor and take a drive out here. If you would like more information on the single-family detached homes right across the street, I'll be more than happy to make a video for you. If you found this video helpful on your home hunting journey, Please subscribe. It helps me and allows me to take the time to make these videos for you. If you would like more information on any communities or any neighborhoods in the valley, all my information is right below the video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Happy house hunting.